we go, what's inside? Chatelaine Magazine, please welcome Corrine Ewart. You are the editor in chief. I'm loving the articles in here. So I know Thank people you. love the food, and yes. I know the fashion is awesome, but there are some great nuggets of information that I think we could all take with great. us, especially when it comes to friendships. It's an important part of our lives and enriches us in ways that I think we can't even understand how important it is. But it can be hard to find a friend when you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, you're not in school anymore, uh, you're not starting out in the workplace. Right. It's tough, and you've got an article about that. We do. So a few months ago, I wrote about uh, the fact that I kind of took stock of my life and realized that I had put my girlfriends, my core group of friends, kind of at the bottom of my priority list because we yeah. get so busy with our lives, our work, our children, our husbands. Uh, and so I suddenly realized there is a group of people there that know me for me and how important that is to have in my life. And, quite honestly, just to make me feel normal and make me feel like my true self. Yes. Then the conversation switched to, well, those core group of friends, maybe they've been spread out, maybe you've moved around. How do you find really good girlfriends, really good friends, when you are at this stage of the game? You're not, you know, at primary school anymore or high school where you're going to the same parties, you know the same people. So yeah. how do you meet people now? So let me ask you this. How do you meet people now? Well, I meet a lot of people at the gym because I do a class at the gym. Right. Still meeting uh, new people through that. I go to a lot of events through work. I'm almost forced to be social because of my job. Of course. And so I, I don't even necessarily think I have time for any new friends because the ones I have, I feel like I don't even get to spend enough time with them. Right. But there are still ways to do it if you're joining clubs and you're, you're part of groups. There are, you might make a connection. Well, and I think that at different stages of our adulthood, you make friends differently as well. I know that when my children were starting school, for example, I was hanging out at the playground a little bit more. Right. They were having play dates, so I was meeting some of the parents of their friends and yeah. forming groups that way, which I think, you know, a network, as you know, it takes a village. You need that network around you, especially when your children are younger. How about a dating service? Well, that's just one of the articles that we happen to have in this month's issue. There are these services now that you can sign up. Same way you wanted to meet maybe the future love of your life, you can meet the future BFF of your life. So we sent a writer <laughs> out there to try out these dates, and she had some really great positive experiences. Yeah, I think that is awesome. Why not do that? Why not go out there and be active about finding friends? It's one of those things that is going to add so much pleasure and joy to your life. And uh, she, you see her go out on these dates, these friend dates, and meet these women, and she rates her dates. Yep. And it's really cool. Take a look. I mean, it's something that I think you should open your mind to, online dating for friends. Well, and again, you have to remember, your friendships are going to last a while, so you want to establish them now, so that a yeah. few years from now, when you really, truly recognize that your children are growing up, or you know, you're yes. ending up spending a little bit more time with just your spouse, you want to have that network around you. You want to have a social life. You deserve a social life. Right, unless you just want it to be you and your spouse. <laughs> alone well, in the good house. Good luck with one that one. of you with the upstairs television, <laughs> one of you on the downstairs someone television. Someone on the iPad. Someone someone on the <laughs> sitting side by side with laptops. No, I'm just joking. It can be also fun to have you and your partner, but it's nice to have girlfriends too. Of course. Or boyfriends if you're, if, if you're a guy. Uh, you know, there's something else that came up in this uh, in this edition, and it's the shame game. And man, I read this article and I had goosebumps. It's all about shaming on the internet, and yeah. it goes really close in line with an initiative we just started on CityLine called hashtag CityLine Real. Right. It's all about keeping it real on social media, getting rid of a little bit of the fakeness, but also about being kind. Yes. There's a lot of meanness on the internet. There is. And this what, article's all about that. What this article actually really touches on is how we as human beings have not evolved um, chemically, like within our own bodies, biologically speaking, to handle the amount of shame that is able to be put upon you mm. by these new technologies and these new environments. We cannot physically handle the amount of shame that somebody who's being cyber bullied, for example. Mm -hmm. Our bodies don't know how to deal with it, and that's why we're seeing all of these horrible, horrible stories of these teenagers and, and young people who literally cannot survive yeah. some of the things that are going on. So we wanted to make sure that we did it in a really responsible way and we talked about the fact that, you know, it's not just how to behave and what you should and should not be doing, but recognize that we as human beings are not capable of handling that and think about that. Think about what that means and then of course have those conversations with those around you and, and 
particularly your children. I mean, I have a 13-year-old daughter. She has a phone. We talk about this constantly at home. So I, it's, it's just opening up the floodgates of those, those conversations that we all need to be having. So kudos to you guys and your hashtag. A couple of things in here. Also, the screen, being behind a screen, is actually decreasing empathy, which scares the living of course. daylights of out course. of me. Of course. And there's a parent here of a child who took her own life after she had scenes of an assault on herself repeatedly sent through social media. And he just said, I don't understand where the meanness comes from. And that's what I'm confused about as well. So do join the conversation. Hashtag CityLineReal. And thank you for putting that article Great. in here. I love it. Chatelaine has actually sent along a copy of the February issue for everyone in our audience. So do read it and enjoy.